quantum state, and Taoist medicine. The researchers Wang et al. 2014 wrote an important article about the use of quantum theory to explain concepts of Chinese medicine. In this article, they use information from the coherence theory of biophoton emission in biological systems proposed by Pop in 2008 as key to the understanding of traditional Chinese medicine. Many studies suggest that the intensity and quantity of biophotons can change when the body suffers from an illness. For example, photon emission is lower in patients with hyperthyroidism. This is because the metabolic activity of those patients is reduced. Lower emissions were also found in patients whose thyroid glands had been removed. The breaking of the symmetry of the biophoton emissions from the right and left hands can occur in some diseases. Cohen and Pop, 1998, found that the percentage of the difference in the emissions of photons between the right and left hands can be a parameter of analysis of health status. This finding may serve as a basis for the better understanding of a yin-yang imbalance in the vital body. Many studies have shown that the difference between biophoton emissions by right and left hands can drop dramatically after energy intervention within the Taoist approach. All information shows that biophotons are the providers of the main signs and physical basis for intercellular and extracellular biological regulation. According to Pop, 2008, in the article Principles of Contemporary Medicine in Terms of the Suggested Scientific Basis, not only the electromagnetic fields, but also sound fields are able to determine biological events. The chemical nature of biological signals in cellular communication has been studied, but quantum biology has recently found that the electromagnetic field is also involved in this process. This radiation can contribute to different activities such as cell division, oxidative metabolism, photosynthesis, carcinogenesis, and more. The first study of cell radiation was made by Gerwich in 1920. He named this phenomenon mitogenetic radiation, and his study was the first to suggest that light emanation can play an important role in cell communication. Dr. Gatan Chavlier states that the frequency of mitogenetic radiation can range from 1,012 Hz to 1,015 Hz, spanning from the infrared spectrum to ultraviolet radiation. The waves emitted by human electromagnetic fields can be divided into different spectral ranges. The ultra-weak emissions of biophotons are common in biological systems and occur when molecules move from a state of high energy to a lower power state. When the body is ill or any function is changed, the blood flow and the affected part of metabolism also change. The result is a shift in local temperature and infrared radiation. Changes in energy states of the proton molecules can also generate infrared radiation. The human body seems to emit a type of electromagnetic radiation that may be associated with the qi. In the view of Taoist medicine, qi is the basic substance that constitutes the human body maintaining its activities. The quantum state of the electromagnetic radiation field may reflect the body's health, and all these waves can be considered states or information about qi. According to Roland Wiedzik and Edward Wiedzik, 2005, emissions of these particles are reflections of human physiological activities and take place within the 400 to 700 nm range. The quantum state of the electromagnetic radiation field may reflect the body's health and qi state. According to Zoha and Han, 2013, the electromagnetic radiation from the electromagnetic field within the human body is characterized by interference, and the quanta in them have a function of information transference, operating as non-molecular messengers of information communication in tissues, organs, cells, and biological macromolecules, etc., in the body, and playing a key role in transferring information of life movements. Hence, the quanta in the human body are the key information for the regulation and adjustment of the visceral network.